let's talk about the Mayan numerals. Mayan numerals. So before we get started, a few properties of this number system is it's a base 20 system. It's a positional system, which means the word or the symbols are written in matters. And it has three symbols. Some other differences between this and the Arabic nu numeral system that you're used to is this is written up and down instead of left and right, written up and down. And a couple more rules. Uh, no more than four dots or three lines in a row. So it seems kind of an odd rule, but you haven't seen the number system yet, so that last little bit doesn't make sense. But let's first look at our three symbols. Three symbols we have are this to represent one, we have a line which can represent five, and a shell which can represent zero. Alright, so I said this dot represents one, that's a little bit misleading. In the bottom row of a my number, it's 20 to the zeroth power, which is one. But as you go up rows, it becomes 20 to the first power, or 20 to the second power, 20 to the third, and so on. This line is always going to be five times the amount of the, that dot. And the shell is always going to be a placeholder. So it can represent zero flat out, or it can just say, hey, you don't need symbols here to represent the number, move up a row. Alright, let's make a chart to show how to represent a mine number. Or a chart to make this all a little bit easier to understand. I think that's enough, four columns. So, in the first area of the chart, a dot represents 20 to the zeroth power, which is 1, and the line is 5 times the amount of the dot. As we go up, second row, the dot would equal 20 to the first power, which is 20, and a line equals 5 times that amount, which is 100. We move up again, the dot now equals 20 to the second power, which is 400, and the line equals 5 times that amount, or 2,000. And we'll go one more time just to make sure we, that you're getting it. Here the dot equals 20 cubed. Sorry about that. The dot equals 20 cubed, which is 8,000. And the line is 5 times 8,000, or 40,000. So let's look at a typical Mayan numeral. We can have no more than three lines in a row, and no more than four dots. So let's say I want to have two lines down here, Let's take three dots. Let's put a placeholder in that second area. So we'll have a placeholder there. Just a shell. Normally I draw my shells like that, but this is the proper way. Let's just have one dot in the center column, and then we'll go three dots up at the top. So normally this would ri be written a lot closer together. Typically they would write a number like this and condense it to something like this. And because this is the first numeral we saw, we're just going to keep it spread out. And we'll, uh, we'll translate this number into Arabic numerals. So down here, Five, one line is worth five dots. So essentially we have 13 dots down here, and dots are worth one each, so 13 times one equals 13. 
here we have nothing in the second column, so we'll just put zero there. What's this third row up worth? Well, we have a single dot. Single dot is worth 400, so 1 times 400 equals 400. And for our final area, we have three dots, no lines, so a line would be worth uh, five dots. But in this case, we only have three dots. Each dot is worth 8,000. So three times 8,000 equals 24,000. So the number that we have, oh, to translate it to the Arabic numerals, all we have to do is add these up. So we'll say this number right here equals 24,000. So 24,000 plus 400. plus 13. Well, if we add those up, we get 24,413 as our answer. So this right here is 24,413.